Amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Rally Boy from Tapas Revolution and today I'm going to show you how to bake a lemon, raisins and olive oil cookie from my latest cookbook, Spanish Made Simple, which you will be able to find in any decent bookshop or the usual online retailer. One day I came up with this recipe which is non-traditional at all, we don't do very we don't do Spanish cookies, we don't have such a thing. We have plenty of biscuits, but not cookies. And one, that, uh, one day I thought that very same thought as I was driving my car, I can't recall in which direction or where I was going, thinking what would be the flavors of a Spanish cookie if there was one? And no matter where you are in the country, and no matter what direction of travels you're heading, either side of the road, you would generally see either olive groves, citrus trees or vineyards. So it didn't take me long to work out what flavor should that cookie be of. So uh, anyway, <laughs> too many stories, but uh, without further ado, let me run you through the ingredients for this fantastic Spanish cookies. We're going to need eggs, butter, lemon, extra virgin olive oil, vanilla essence, caster sugar, golden caster sugar, some golden raisin soaked in water and some self-raising flour. We're going to start by grating just slightly the lemon to make sure that we don't take any of the white pith, which is a little bitter. So don't apply too much pressure on the lemons when grating it. And we're going to add the butter into the mixer with the caster sugar and the golden caster sugar as well. And we're going to start mixing it for a couple of minutes until the butter fully integrates with the rest of the ingredients. At that point we're going to add one egg and again just let it mix until it fully integrates and then the second egg. When you can see that you have a really nice and soft and velvety texture that it has achieved, add your vanilla essence and you can add your soaked raisins, which all I did to them, by the way, was to leave them for three hours into some cold water. And then start drizzling the extra virgin olive oil a little at a time in a small drizzle. My recommendation is that it's a fruity, good quality extra virgin olive oil. And then a little at a time again, mainly so that it doesn't create a huge cloud of flour, as you can see in the image. Um, add the flour, just a spoon after a spoon for sort of 30 seconds. And all it's left to do is to just let it mix for no longer than 45 seconds. Normally you can do this with a spatula as well by hand to make sure that you don't overwork the flour, which is the key thing. Take a look at the texture. It's quite buttery. And now we're going to give it some shape. So you can either do it the American way, which is to scoop, uh, chill it and then scoop it, or you can put it into clean film like I'm doing it and roll it into a disc that after leaving it in the fridge for a couple of hours, you can just very easily cut with a knife. I find this technique really easy and they cook very, very well as well, but makes no difference. In America, you see them in the cookie shops, just scooping them out with the ice cream scoop, which is very handy as well. And now I'm just going to put some um, silicone mat, but you can use some parchment paper at home over a baking tray, place your disc of uh, cookies and just make a little bit of pressure in the middle, which will help them to, to take a nice shape when cooking in the oven. And now bake them in the preheated oven at 180 degrees for about seven to nine minutes, depending on your liking. If you like them soft and gooey, it'll be seven minutes. And if you like them a little crispier, then just leave them there for a couple minutes longer. And you should have in front of you a very crumbly, delicious, Guys, I'll save you the time of me giving it a bite because I've already eaten two of them. So I'll go straight for the veredict. These are the best cookies I've ever tried in my entire life, okay? Big statement, and I'm not saying it lightly because I know in this day and age, it takes seconds for somebody to think the opposite and just tell me in social media, mate, you've never tried a cookie in your entire life but I have tried a lot, plenty of them in New York and America, which to me they do the best. But I have to say, and, and, and actually, 
this recipe I pasted on some of those recipes they gave me over there, which to me they were the best. But this, the fact that they don't have chocolate and they are so indulgent and the olive oil works so, so well. So anyway, I hope you give it a try. If you're looking for the recipe, you can either find it on my book, this, this point, my book, Spanish Made Simple, or on my website, thespanishchef.com. All the best, familia, and see you on the next video. Adios. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe.